before hate and horror swept Holland into the vortex of war. A peaceful land of windmills, of laces and pretty faces. A colorful delight in a cavalcade of world wonders where Amsterdam's canal, a street of silver running beside the palatial hotel Lido, and the city's magnificent waterfront give a hint of the charm of Netherlands beauty. The quaint life of old Holland lingers in Hollandar, a city of wooden shoes, where men sport balloon pantaloons, where exquisite handmade lace caps and dress trimmings make women and girls look like dolls, and where, as everywhere else in Holland, the spirit of Dutch cleanser makes everything shine like new. In the fields of Follandar, the dance of the windmill, a picture of emerald sod, blue sky, sunlit clouds, and feminine loveliness, a joyous dance, symbolic of a light-hearted people with peace in their hearts. Rhythmic feet keep time to joyous heartbeats, and wooden shoes are as gay as dancing sunbeams. Smiling charm that enhances the loveliness of beauty. Romance after the dance is over. The longest way round is the shortest way home. For love's longest pauses make youthful days the shortest. Natives of Marken Island in the hinterlands of the Netherlands. The men are hardy farmers, the children rugged offspring, and the matrons have contrived a hairdo that was never ever dreamed of in any beauty parlor. The first natural broadcasting system. Station, Marken Island. A lad's first watch. A lifelong treasure. With it, the boy begins to measure the life of the man. A junkyard in Zeeland is the district's nearest approach to a department store. Trading in old iron and old clothes is important, for it means dealing in daily necessities of life. Style in the marketplace, with each Zeeland woman's face framed in bewitching lace and each little last immaculate class. Compare the plainly dressed Marken Island child to the sprightly Zeelanders. Falkmar, the world's largest cheese market where the famous Edam cheese comes from. To understand the Dutchman with his good qualities, his energy and business spirit, one should observe a Friday morning when there is full activity at the market. The cheese is still conveyed in a good old and fashioned manner by barges that meet here in the center of a world of cheese. Paraffin protects the cheese according to the climate of its destination. Public Wayhouse is a striking building that has a beautiful tower and a musical carry-on with moving images that ring the chimes. A beautiful structure typical of Rotterdam, the city of bridges. While Rotterdam is a city of every modern convenience of civilization, its milk delivery system is the most antiquated on earth. This milkman and his faithful dog make daily rounds with goat's milk, as has been done here for generations. Mostly below the sea level, Holland is also largely beside the sea, and near Rotterdam, a delightful beach of white sands invites the nation to revel in the cool sea breezes. A 
clay pipe factory in Gehalde. The English soldiers brought the clay pipe industry to Holland in 1620. And now the city of Gehalde ships clay pipes all over the world. In 1850, the Gehudewagen family started their control of the pipe business that now produces 2,000 kinds of clay pipes. And all pipes are made by hand as they were generations ago. A picturesque procession of comely maidens conveys the newly molded pipes to the drying kiln. Hard, baked and ready to go. Skillful packing in billows of excelsior after careful inspection sends the one family output on journeys to far away. The midget and the giant, comparing the largest and the smallest pipes made at Kauda. And the ornate bridegroom's pipe is still a feature of many Dutch weddings. Where variety is the spice of smoking, this stand is the approved smoking set. At the height of the bicycle craze in Holland, it was estimated that four million of her seven million people were riding bikes. Everyone rolls along in the Hague for pleasure or business. Special bicycle avenues paralleling main thoroughfares carry a never-ending flow of bicycle traffic. Flying across the Scheveningen Canal for years is the shortest ferry in Holland. The fare is three cents for adults, two cents for children, and it saves a block of walking. Symbolic of the splendor of Holland's peacetime civilization is the grandeur of the modern buildings of Hilversum, including the ultra-elegant city hall beside a shimmering canal. A magnificently constructed school and a real center of advanced education. Pictureful landscape gardens beautify every structure. The up-to-date radio station made unforgettable history when through its microphones, Queen Wilhelmina's government appealed to her people to resist invasion. Quiet ease and luxury are enjoyed in the magnificence of the Grand Hotel and with the exquisite charm of the land of beauty, lanes of loveliness stream down the flowered streets that lead to homes of Holland.